Hello everyone! Today I am excited to show you one of my favorite homeschooling curriculum choices, um, Matthew C. And I've been using it for two years now. We started with the first level, which is for kindergarten, but it could be probably for preschool as well, depending on uh, where your child is at. And so the first one is primer. I don't have um, all of the textbooks here to show you, but just a few to give you an idea of what you're looking at. Um, my kids have already completed the actual uh, textbook for this level. I actually had my son, who was uh, four years old at the time, do the math uh, work um, that my kindergartner was doing and he was able to follow along um, he didn't do as many pages because it just wasn't as as um, you know like the amount of work was just not his level quite just yet um, patience wise but um, he was able to follow along and he's almost done with it in kindergarten. We actually um, paused finishing his textbook because we wanted, I wanted to try uh, master books math K level. And I noticed that those books are like a much lower level uh, for, for kids. It goes much slower and this uh, math curriculum I like because they can go as quickly as um, they can go um, based off of their own uh, I'm blanking right now because it's so early in the morning at their own speed that's what I'm trying to say <laughs> okay so um, you have different options that you can purchase I wanted to um, go with everything, especially because it was the first uh, year and I didn't really know the material that well. So um, it came with a instruction manual which gives you all of the lessons, which is great, it really did help me because it helps you know how to explain certain things even though you know already how to add and you know like place value and all of that it's different when you have to actually explain it to your child who doesn't know and um, I was um, attracted to this curriculum because it emphasized manipulatives a lot it um, comes with, let me move these things to the side, it actually comes with a box, a uh, block kit, and you can see that we've been using it a lot. Um, and my kids love to play with these just for fun sometimes, if I can just show you. Um, so you have all of the blocks starting from the hair, um, you know, from the ones, twos, threes, fours, uh, all the way to ten, and then you have the one hundred as well. And it was the easiest way that my kids could learn, you know, math, adding and just even counting using these blocks it made it fun and I'm not just saying that like my kids really would be excited whenever it was math time and I brought out the blocks they really liked doing that and um, also the another reason why I was attracted to this is because when I took a class in college um, I went to Cal State Fullerton and um, there was a course on teaching um, math for elementary kids, elementary age, 
and um, they were really big on manipulatives and I remember just listening to the teacher explain these concepts for children to understand better um, and how like even for myself it made so much more sense being able to visually see what is meant um, and I just wondered like I, how come like my teachers didn't teach me with more manipulatives um, because that would have been so much helpful and so it has been for my kids as well so I know that as homeschoolers most of us perhaps um, our goal is to not spend um, you know as much money as possible if there's a more affordable option definitely let's go with that but for me personally I feel that mathematics is so important and it, it really is one of those things that if you get lost along the way it's really hard to continue taking the next um, math class so I thought and I told my husband that for sure mathematics is going to be the subject that I want to invest on something that works um, on my kids because I really want them to have good foundation so that they can reach as high as level of mathematics as they want later on in the future. So this has been very helpful and like I said you can go at your own speed. Um, so uh, the packet also comes with uh, a CD. Where is it? A DVD. <laughs> yeah, it's a DVD. And it has a man, a teacher, uh, explaining and teaching the lesson, pretty much. So, um, in the when we first started using this material, I would, you know, I went and found my college laptop that still has a place for DVDs <laughs> and um, I played the first lesson. Honestly, um, the children were a little disconnected to it and I found myself pausing it and like trying to explain it in a, uh, in a way that I'm making sure that they are understanding what he's saying and they're not just kind of blanking, <laughs> you know. Um, so. I honestly haven't used this as much. I've used this more. If there's a portion where I feel like, uh, how, how exactly do I explain this? Um, or what does this, how do I define this for the kids? Um, that's, and also it gives you examples. So maybe if you're just kind of going um, based off of the the lessons right and you're just it's easy it's really easy to understand what they're supposed to do but sometimes you might reach a page where it's like what exactly how do they want them to do that in particular do they have to draw it do they have to just use the blocks and then here you'll you'll be able to go to the lesson and see um, like their example how they write it and what they expect so I like I like this definitely don't feel like I need to explore other um, math options for sure this is a good fit for me being a very visual person so being able to teach mathematics uh, with this these visual um, aids is like the perfect match for me and my kids so um, the other convenient thing about the curriculum is that you are able to tear out the pages they come already uh, ready to if you want to do that I know my daughter she preferred when she was in kindergarten she preferred to just like have the book she doesn't like to tear things out um, but my son who was younger he it was just not an option because like he he would just be distracted by what's on the next page oh i want to do the next page so so it's nice that you have that option to tear them up 
um, it comes, well, the next level that I'm showing now, moving on, is alpha. And I would consider this, um, it depends on how fast you went on kindergarten. Um, but I could see that this book could also be for kindergarten level, but definitely for first grade. Um, in the front it has lesson practice, a systematic review, and a spot for test scores. And it tells you like what, what they're learning on that given lesson. Now the thing that I noticed that was different about this next level is that they included tests. So they give you a separate um, book where you can do tests and And I really enjoy that because you get to really see if they are learning it. And for whatever reason, my kids actually like taking tests. They get excited about tests. So this is another fun thing for them to do. The tests are not very long. They're just one page. Um, and so whatever they're learning on a given lesson, that's what's going to be on the material. Um, on the test. So the second time around I also decided to go with the, the full packet and I didn't have to buy the manipulatives because I already did the first time and um, so I haven't even opened this because we haven't started quite yet. Um, but my kids are excited, my son. Uh, we're finishing off the other math book uh, but he, if it was up to him, he would already be working on this one because to him, this looks like really exciting. Yeah. It's very easy. It's very child friendly, um, very fun activities. Um, so, for example, this. Now, this is a little more complicated than what you'll see on primer. Um, they start slow in primer where like you literally just are told um, to count and to like color in like how many this number is even just learning to trace numbers but here they're um, kind of reviewing they're kind i'm sorry for the noise my son is behind me looking at the books <laughs> um yeah we're gonna do that soon so for example let me just show you um, here, they want you to color this many hundreds, this many tens, and this many ones. Wait, and I see. Mm -hmm. Nine hundreds and ten, ten, ten tens and, and nine nines. Can you read this number, Jeremiah? Six hundred forty-seven. Good job. So that's a big number for a kindergartner, and this this curriculum has prepared him for being able to do that. So um, other portions. I'm doing this in case you've never seen um, the actual book before. So here, there are parts where you have to build it with the blocks, um, and. There's other sections where you have to fill in the missing numbers. And uh, sometimes they have like fun pages like this where they connect the dots. Um, also, the nice thing about the previous book in particular is that they go into the primer. They go into uh, reading time, but they do it in a way that I had never seen before, which is that they use the blocks and they provide um, these pages in the book where you take them out and you tape them together and it forms 
um, I don't think I have them. Yeah, I do have them. So I laminated mine. Um, my son colored on it, or my daughter, not sure, um, with a dry erase marker. So this is what they use to learn to read time. And it see, it, it, it visually shows them like how each um, number, one, two, three, four, five, it, it's, you know, one block, one unit. And um, so then, then they also use uh, blocks to kind of just like put them in place. And that's at the end of the book. So I don't have anything negative to say about this curriculum. I highly recommend it. And um, the only thing is that it is expensive. But um, if you can buy some of the things, maybe not all of the things, um, that might help bring the price down. Or you can look for uh, look for it when they have those sales. Um, I'll I'll put some links below where you can find them where I where I shop for them. Um, so one last thing is that, for example, for um, <laughs> I don't know if I should delete this part or not. We'll see. For homeschooling parents that have um, children, multiple children, you don't want to have to buy everything for each child. So they have the option where you can... Who's opening up the DVD? Um, so they have the option where you could just buy an extra student workbook. So I like that. That's what I did for my daughter. I bought the whole thing again, except the manipulative box. But for my son, all I had to do was buy this, and it came with the test workbook. If I'm not mistaken, I believe they both come together. So that's all I have to say. And here is the DVD if you want to take a closer look at it. Thank you, Jeremiah. Please put it away carefully. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay. They saw it, both sides. So, um, please like this video, subscribe to my new channel, um, and I plan on sharing a lot more videos about different things, all things having to do with homeschooling. Um, I really do want to share more of uh, book reviews because I feel sometimes that the homeschool videos that I see on YouTube, sometimes they don't give you like enough detail and then you buy something and then you regret it sometimes. So I really hope to give you like the information that maybe other homeschooling moms on YouTube don't. And um, so hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye.